Welcome back to Fin Crime Files. Today we're delving into five of the world's most bizarre fraud cases you probably haven't heard about. From audacious heists to elaborate scams, these stories are sure to leave you astonished. Coming in at number five, the Aruchi Gold Truck Scam. In 2019, a bizarre gold scam unfolded in Aruchi, China, leaving many victims in disbelief. The fraudsters operated a complex scheme where they convinced unsuspecting individuals that they had exclusive access to a truck carrying massive amounts of gold. To gain the victim's trust, the scammers presented fake documents and created an illusion of authority. However, there was no gold truck carrying precious cargo. Instead, the fraudsters used the ruse to solicit financial support from their victims, claiming they needed funds to pay custom fees to release the gold. Believing in the lucrative opportunity, the victims invested millions of dollars in the hopes of a share in the profits once the gold was released. Unfortunately, the entire operation was an elaborate con and the victims never saw an ounce of gold or any returns on their investment. This case serves as a stark reminder to be cautious of any investment opportunity that seems too good to be true and to thoroughly research any potential investments before parting with your hard earned money. At number 4 we have the Great Diamond Heist of 2003. In 2003, a group of Italian thieves orchestrated an audacious heist in Antwerp, Belgium, known as the Great Diamond Heist. Antwerp is a major global diamond trading center, and the thieves saw this as a perfect opportunity to take a huge score. They rented an office space in a building adjacent to the Antwerp Diamond Center, positioning themselves strategically to carry out their plan. Over several months, the criminals dug a tunnel approximately 80 feet long from the office space to underneath the Diamond Center. On the night of the heist, they made their move, breaking into the vault and stealing an estimated $100 million worth of diamonds, gold and precious stones. The heist left investigators puzzled as to how the thieves managed to bypass the Diamond Center's security system. Eventually, the criminals were caught and brought to justice, but not before the heist made headlines worldwide, earning its place as one of the most daring and meticulously planned thefts in history. Just quickly, if you're enjoying this video so far and finding this content interesting, please consider subscribing and liking this video, it really does help me out. At number 3, we have the Iowa Lottery Fraud. In a shocking turn of events, the Iowa Lottery became embroiled in a bizarre fraud case in 2011. The mastermind behind this audacious scheme was Eddie Tipton, the former security director of the Multi-State Lottery Association. Tipton ingeniously rigged the lottery's random number generator to generate specific winning combinations on specific days. This allowed him and his accomplices to predict the winning numbers for various lottery games. With this inside information, they purchased tickets with those winning combinations, leading to several significant jackpots over the years. To avoid suspicion, Tipton enlisted the help of family members and friends to cash in the winning tickets. He often used anonymous trusts and tried to remain anonymous himself, claiming the prizes. For years, the fraud went undetected until a relative of Tipton tried to claim a winning ticket in 2011, leading to a chain of events that exposed the scam. Tipton was arrested and faced charges of fraud and conspiracy. The case shed light on the vulnerabilities of the lottery system and the potential for insider manipulation. He eventually pled guilty to fraud and was sentenced to prison. Taking second place at number two, we have the fake artist fraud. In the mid 2000s, a bizarre fraud involving fake artists took the art world by storm. These con artists claim to be reclusive creators of valuable artwork which piqued the interest of collectors looking for exclusive and rare pieces. By remaining anonymous, these artists added an air of mystery and allure to their work. The fraudsters produced fake masterpieces and attributed them to fake artists with intriguing names and elaborate backstories. They claimed the artists were reclusive and had only recently surfaced to share their creations with the world. As demand for these supposedly rare pieces grew, unsuspected collectors paid extortionate prices to acquire them. However, these artworks were worthless fakes, and the victims found themselves holding empty promises and vast expenses. The case brought attention to the importance of due diligence and expert authentication in the art market to avoid falling victim to fraudulent schemes. Taking the top spot at the number one bizarre fraud case is the Fugu investment scam. In Japan, the fugu fish is considered a delicacy, but is infamous for its potential deadly toxins if not prepared correctly. In 2009, Takeyoshi Doi, a cunning fraudster, devised an unusual scam centered around breeding fugu fish. 
Doi claimed to have developed a revolutionary method of safely removing toxins from fugu, making it safe for consumption. He presented himself as a successful fugu fish farmer and enticed investors with promises of high returns on their investment as his fugu business expanded. Eager to capitalise on this seemingly lucrative opportunity, investors poured money into Doi's venture. However, the entire operation was a sham and there was no breakthrough toxin removal. The investors were left with huge financial losses, highlighting the importance of being cautious and conducting thorough research before investing in any ventures. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this content. Till next time, take care.